Hiya, it's Gordon here and I'm here to talk just a little bit about um, the Jehovah's Witnesses, the effects that the Jehovah's Witnesses have on people and um, continue to do so in strange ways. Over the weekend I was on a, a course where I was teaching some hypnosis and one of the persons on the course a lady who I used to be in, in the congregation with a long time ago when I was just a young boy. Um, she was talking to me. She's attending a hypnosis course and uh, her family's still all very, very strong in the faith. And she left when she was a teenager. As it happened, she'd only spent a, num a small amount of years as an active Jehovah's Witness. And yet, the effect that that had on her life, as she told me a story, was was incredible. The things that it it caused her to do. She left when she was eighteen. I think she started to go full time as a witness when she was ten. She left when she was eighteen, and got into a life of of um, drugs, um, it, just everything really, a wildlife. And it was only until she was kind of into a late twenties that she settled down. Now that was something I could empathize with because that's exactly what happened to me as well. And the more people that I talk to, I find that that's exactly what happens to them. They leave and, and they're in such a strange place that, and, and they're unable to make plans for the future because they think that they're going to die. Um, they're unable to save money because what's the point of saving money? And basically they throw themselves headlong into a, into a life of of excess. Why? Because if you're going to die tomorrow, well, you've got to live it up today, yeah? And I think that's been probably the experience of a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses, particularly young ones who, who leave when they're kind of in the, in the teenage years, which is quite common, I think. So, what's the point of this? Well, as I talked to her, she said two things, and, and it kind of echoed a lot echoed what I'd, what I'd heard from a lot of people, what I've heard a lot from a lot of people as I've kind of done therapy, helped people with therapy, um, including my own family. And the, the words were, there are two things that still go through my head. One is, what if it's still right? What if it's right? And when I see all of these things happening on the news and the wars and everything, what if it's still right? And the other one was, um, this inability to be able to live a normal life, this inability to to plan for the future. She said that she wasn't able to plan for the future and she had to live a life at full speed because she, it's something in the back of her mind said, if she didn't, she would miss out because she's going to die soon. Now, she must be getting toward 40. So she's been out of the Jehovah's Witness sect for 20 years or more. And she still thinks like that. What's the point? The point is this. You deserve to feel better than that. If you were an ex-Jehovah's Witness, you really deserve to feel better than that. You do not deserve to carry around with you the weight of that absolute rubbish that they installed in you when they had when you were of no age to decide what was right or wrong you deserve so much more than that now there are lots of ways of of overcoming this programming lots of ways okay the best way in my experience well the best ways in my experience are this a educate yourself and i've said this before Educate yourself on the particular religion, on the Jehovah's Witness religion. Find out about it. Look into the past. It's an absolute sham. It's a load of shite. Okay? From the beginning to the end, it's a load of rubbish. The other thing is this, and this is worthwhile thinking about, okay? What's the only hold that they have on the, the people and on the ex Jehovah's Witnesses. The one and only hold is this that you might die. And I'm here to tell you something, okay? We're all going to die. Every single one of us. 
Sooner or later, we're going to die. You're going to die. What's all the big fuss about? Okay? If we die together, all of the ex Jehovah's Witnesses, let's say they're right. Let's say they're right. And we all die together. That's okay. It'll be over in a flash. It doesn't take long to die, you know. It takes uh, just seconds to die. So, and we'll all go off and we'll know nothing else. Because we'll all die together in the Great War of Armageddon bullshit. However, if they're wrong, then all that's going to happen is our death will be deferred. Okay? So I don't know what all this fuss is about. Oh, well, what if they're right? What if they're right? So what? It doesn't really matter if they're right or if they're wrong. You're going to die anyway. Okay? So you better get used to it and get you into your head the idea that you're going to die. Now, have I repeated that enough? You're going to die. I'm going to die. Everybody's going to die. So get over yourself. It doesn't matter. Do this. Just do this before I finish. I want you to imagine in front of you now the whole range, the whole gamut of the Jehovah's Witness elders. Perhaps you can think of the elders in, in the congregation that you used to be in. Get the governing body there too. Get everybody there. Okay? And I want you to do this. Stick your finger up like that and say, screw you all. I'm going to die anyway. So you've got no control over me whatsoever. Okay? And as you stick your finger up and look at them, okay, feel good. Because you don't deserve to feel bad. Just feel good and go, screw you. I'm going to die anyway. So you can all just piss off. Okay? Try it and do it over and over again until you feel better. All right. See you later.